This is DDS Detroit Road. Born in Detroit, T. Grizzly was raised by his grandmother in the Joy Road area of West Detroit. In middle school, he funded the musical group All Stars Ball Hard, along with three of his friends. In 2011, his mother was sentenced to 15 years in prison for drug trafficking. His father murdered in 2012. This is Detroit Raw, T. Grizzly. What inspired me to start rapping is just, I used to go to the studio with my uncles when I was young as hell and shit. And hearing their voices on the song was just sweet as hell to me, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, they let me do a song one time and I heard my voice on it, I fell in love with that shit. T. Grizzly released First Day Out in November 2016. The video went crazy, gaining over 2 million views on YouTube in less than three weeks. He later signed with 300 Entertainment and Atlantic Records in 2017. They still praying on my downfall. I know they praying on my downfall From the yard to the streets I'ma stand tall 500 hundreds on me not Show them how to ball 30 on the rollie just to shine on the flex show That ain't shit, I'ma make it back off the next show And my sleep sweating, brother like bro what you stretch for I'm breathing hard like I had a dream I was back bro In middle school, T. Grizz found out a couple of his friends could rap too Lee, Jr., and Poe And together they formed a group called All Stars Ball Hard I got my name T. Grizzly when I was in the joint. I was just on some, I was big as hell in that bitch. Beast, I had a beard in that bitch, you feel me? So niggas was like, that nigga, that nigga big as hell. T. Niggas got to call me that shit in that bitch. I ran with it. Now T was the first family member in generations to attend college. And he chose to attend Michigan State University to study finances and accounting. On my way to Kentucky, right? Mm -hmm. So hit a lick. Nigga, I get a phone call from a Lansing number. I'm going to school in Lansing at this time. All the shit had just happened, though. I don't know the number, though, but I ain't really nobody at the time. So if a motherfucker call my phone, I down there need to pick up. Right. You feel me? So I answer. They say, um, hey, how you doing, Mr. Wallace? This is such and such with the um, sheriff department in Lansing. Yeah, we got a warrant out for your arrest. Your uh, friend just turned himself in. And if you turn yourself in, it'll look good. Rather than us having to come get you. Nigga, I hung up the phone, my motherfucking heart dropped, nigga. It was a different ride on the way to Kentucky at that point, nigga. I'm like, I'm a wanted man, nigga. I don't want to do this shit. Nigga, I'm a, no, I'm, I got to do it now because I got to go hit the link and pay for the lawyer. I ain't got no pay. Thanks. But while at Michigan State, T didn't do too much studying. He had other plans. T and his accomplice named Jerry Ford stole computers, cash, and other electronics out of rooms in Hubbard Hall between February 12th and February 27th. Police would later recover around 10,000 in cash and another 10,000 in electronics. I guess he was studying hard. At that point, nigga, I'm like, I'm a wanted man, nigga. I don't wanna do this shit. Nigga, I'm a, no, I'm, I gotta do it now because I gotta go hit the link and pay for the lawyer. I ain't got no pay. Thanks. So I'm like, I start putting a plan together in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna go hit the link, sell that shit, pay the lawyer, fight that case up there. But nigga, my motherfucking heart is going crazy right now because I'm like, damn, nigga, I feel like I'm public enemy number one in America. I'm like, every cop in America is looking for me right no now. Cap, I'm scared as hell, so boom, I get to Kentucky. I'm like, all right, better let me get on point. You know what I'm saying? So this shit gonna be small. I walk in the jury store. They, why you got a hoodie on? Because it's hot as fuck outside. They looking at me crazy. Why you got a hoodie on? I'm like, well, I'm a boxer and I gotta lose weight for this fighting shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just been jogging and shit with the hoodie. They're like, all right, bet, bet, bet. But they still watching. I pull the hammer out, hit the glass. Psh, see all the Rolex. Before I can even grab one of them bitches, I hear freeze. When, when I hear freeze, I know it's a gun involved. That's all I need to know. I got the hammer in my hand. I'm like, damn, I should try this motherfucker. I turn around. I see a white guy born and raised in the South. Ready I'm like, oh, this nigga killed me. Let me go, quit playing with him. I dropped the hammer, get out. They call the police, nigga. That bitch gets surrounded with police. News already up there. I'm like, damn, it's like they knew this shit was gonna happen. Feel me, boom. They take us in. On February 27th, Wallace and Ford were both apprehended by police, but soon released, pending an investigation that looked to gather more evidence. Instead of sticking around, Wallace went on the run to Kentucky 
while a warrant was issued for his arrest. They take us in. I get to talking to niggas in that bitch like, damn, what you think they gonna do? They like, shit, y'all niggas be lucky to get 10, 15 years in this bitch. God damn. I'm like, oh, I ain't never getting out. And I got that case up there, it's over for me. It's over stuck for It's me. over with. I ain't never getting out, nigga. I made up my mind and accepted I wasn't never getting out that bitch. Feel me? So I'm like, damn. Oh, nigga, like, nigga, you better get in that motherfucking law book. Don't be talking to these niggas and hear these niggas don't know shit. I'm like, all right, bet. I wouldn't do anything at this point, nigga, so butt snitch. <laughs> so, right. so I look in the law book. I'm damn, all right, bet. Nigga, I start buying this shit. Now, I ain't got no money for no lawyer, so I got a quarter point, and he don't really give a fuck. Feel me? I'm looking through the law book and shit. I get to seeing shit. Now, I'm telling the lawyer shit. He's like, oh, you right. He's like, nigga, what the fuck you mean I'm right? You knew this shit before me. You supposed to, motherfucker. You feel me? Boom. I get to looking in the law book. My co-defendants in the law book and shit, nigga, we figuring this shit out. We find a case similar to ours. Oh, we ain't never make it out the jury store, so they can't call it a robbery. Mm -hmm. This destruction of property at the most. Oh. Prosecutor, come. All right, man, we give y'all five years, 10%. Y'all do about nine months and then get out. But only way I can give you that deal is if you get everybody else to accept it. It wasn't nothing to talk about. I'm like, bro, if we go to trial, nigga, they gonna make an example out of us, nigga. We from out of town. We don't know nobody down here. We ain't got no lawyer. Right, we taking this deal, nigga, straight up. Ain't nothing to talk about. Boom. Them niggas was mad, but they like, all right, bet, fuck it. Them niggas end up getting out before me because I got the Michigan hole. Yeah. Michigan, come get me. I'm like, all right, bet, we got to drive up here. They let us stop at McDonald's, though. That was the highlight. Well, I've been locked up for about two years, yeah. nigga. I ain't had no food hey, yeah, yeah. in a minute. So I'm what like, you get, though? They only let you get a McChicken and a McDonald's. Shit, hey, they think no. that shit. Y'all gonna look at the menu. You ain't looking at the menu in that bitch, nigga. So when they come out with the McChicken and McDouble, bang that shit. I get to Michigan. Prosecutor coming there. Hey man, listen. But it wasn't long before he was back in trouble again. A few months later, on July first. T ran up in a jewelry store called the Castle Jewelry and Pond in Lexington, Kentucky, with two fellow Detroit accomplices, Theo Evans and Dewan Harris. T was wearing a Rolex as one of them smashed the case full of the watches with a sledgehammer. They were ready to escape with the watches when the general manager of the store pulled out a gun and made all three of them get on the ground until police came. Bang, that's it. I get to Michigan. Prosecutor to come in there, hey man, listen. I got a deal for you, 18 months. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take it, if you make me go all the way to trial, I'm gonna make sure you don't get off this motherfucker. I say, you know what, give me the 18 months. I was ready to do 15 years, nigga. Uh -huh. Give me the 18 months, I was happy to take it. Jeez. Sent me to prison, I got to instantly. Seeing niggas I know from the hood and that bitch, boom, seeing niggas know my peoples, I'm good in here for real. Something like that, I'm getting out of 18 months. Nah. I'm like, I'm about to nigga start writing raps in this bitch now. I'm motivated because I ain't even give a fuck about writing little raps. So I'm like, I ain't never getting up. Fuck, I'm writing raps for rap to these niggas. Mm -hmm. I started writing raps and shit. I'm rapping that shit to niggas. Niggas like, that shit hard. Nigga, I had a list of songs I was going to drop. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going to drop first day out, then I'm going to drop this, then that, then that. And by the time I get to this, like, 10 song, I should have a little buzz in the city. Yeah. So, boom. All that time passed, nigga, I get out. I go to my cousin first. I'm like, cuz, let me hold 250 so I can pay for this beat. He like, all right, when you gonna give it back? I'm like, nah, I just got out, nigga. <laughs> Fuck, just when I'm gonna get $250 back, bro. Boom, he hold me. I go to my man's. I go to Blanco. Bro, I need to get a job or they gonna lock me up, bro. My parole officer, I just talked to my parole officer. He said, if you don't get a job, you're going back in. Bro, like, shit, I'm working at the golf course. I'm like, nigga, I'm coming up there with you. Thanks. Bro. I'm working on the golf course. I still can't get the money from none of my people to get this beat. They're like, nigga, you better get a job, nigga. That rapping shit ain't gonna work. I'm like, damn, nigga, this shit gonna work. Because I'm about to make this shit work. Yeah. Nigga, I told myself before I got out, I'm like, I know I'm gonna be back in the streets when I get out. But before I come back to this motherfucker, I'm gonna make sure I give myself a chance to follow my dreams. You know what I'm saying? So when I do end up back here, if I do, I can say I gave myself a chance before I just jump right in the streets. You feel me? So I wasn't getting in no street shit until I gave myself a chance for this rap shit. Boom. I go bump into JB and my Uncle Chuck. They already believed in me. They like, nigga, we know you gonna make it, nigga. Whatever you need, we got you. 
I'm like, hell yeah, she, nigga, we go see hell of a, we go get the video, nigga, we go get the producers and shit, record first day out, and like 10 other songs. I'm like, we gonna drop first day out first, then this, then that, ooh, ooh. Now, I ain't got a dollar in my pocket, I ain't even get my check yet from the golf course. We shoot the video, JB grab me an outfit and pay for everything. That shit came up to like $2,000. Boom. We get the video back, nigga. I'm, in, I'm, I'm on a golf course at work. I call Blanco, hey, pull up on me. We just got the video back and shit. We looking at the video. I'm like, nigga, this shit decent. This shit hard. You feel me? They might fuck with this. No cap. Nigga, yeah. and I'm telling my story because I ain't about to go individually tell people how I got locked up that I fuck with. So they just gonna hear it in the song. We like, all right, we gonna drop it tomorrow. We all work tomorrow, then we gonna drop this bitch tomorrow. Bet. We get back to the crib. We like, all right, let's drop it. We dropped the video on this, on, um, on my man's channel and shit. I'm like, nigga, if I get 10,000 views in a month, nigga, I'm lit. They watching me. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way if I get 10,000 views in a month. Jeez. We watching the videos. I'm like, refresh that shit. See how many views it got. Nigga, that shit had 250,000 views, nigga. <laughs> like a week later, I get my first check, $300. JB called me. Hey, they trying to book you. I'm like, where? They like, trying to book you in Oakland and in Ohio. Each show gonna give you 50,000. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. 50,000? They give me 50 bands. Nigga, we call the promoter back like, damn, but I only got one song, though. They're like, we don't give a fuck. Just come perform that shit. Nigga, they gonna go crazy. They have been up ever since, nigga. Initially charged with first degree robbery in Kentucky, he got his charges knocked down to theft by unlawful taking or disposition and was sentenced to nine months. From there, he was extradited to Ingram County in Michigan and charged with two counts of second-degree home invasion. He was sentenced on February 3rd, 2015, and sentenced to 18 months in jail in October. I mean, I had to jump through a lot of hurdles, bro. You feel me? It's family, fake niggas, bitches, all that type of shit, but at the end of the day, it ain't nothing spectacular, you know what I'm saying? It's the same struggles everybody else go through. After being released, T. Grizzly recorded the song, First Day Out, having Joseph McFashion shoot the video for just 250 bucks. This song was a success on YouTube going crazy, generating millions of streams. From that point, he was signed to 300 records, and the rest is Detroit history. This is Detroit Raw, T. Grizzly.